Hey guys and welcome to Slash Rx Games. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a scrollable area. Now the premise is actually really simple. When we scroll the bar, pieces of information that were outside of the current frame now come into the light. We can now see them within the frame. So I'm going to jump into the demo and show you exactly how to do this. Now it's not too strange because we've actually covered scroll bars in a lot of detail before as in the sound and scroll bars as well as the horizontal and vertical scroll bars. Links to all of those can be found right in the description below. So let's jump on in. Right, so let's take a look at the sprites. We've got the sprite bar, we've got the sprite slider, the background and the card. So these are the objects that we're going to be um, scrolling in and out of the view. So first things first, create object. This is going to be called object bar. That's uh, going to be the object of this guy. Come on. There we go. It's going to have the bar sprite. So let's go sprites. And there it is. I'm going to have a create event over here. Let's make this bigger for everyone to see. Firstly, we need to know what the top limit is. We need to know what the bottom limit is. Because we don't want the user scrolling past the top and the bottom limit of the scroll bar. And these are calculated as y minus sprite height uh, divided by 2 so that's the half of that plus image x scale times 75 okay so that'll make sure that we've got some gaps the 25 percent it's going to be halved the top and the bottom we're going to have pieces of the bar that we can't scroll past so I'm going to copy this line, paste it here, change the y minus to y plus, and this plus to a minus. That's all we need to do right over there. Next, let's go ahead and create the actual slider bar. A equals instance create. Uh, we want to do layer. I'm going to put this at x, y. Name of the layer is going to be instances. And the object we want to create is called obj slider. All right, now let's set some properties of A. A dot image x scale equals image x scale a dot image y scale equals image y scale a dot bar length equals sprite height so that's the height of the the bar a dot top limit equals top limit a dot bottom limit equals bottom limit a dot y is going to be the top limit so that's where we want the slider to sit on the bar right at the top because we're going to be dragging it down and showing things up like that a dot depth is going to equal to depth minus one so it's going to be above the bar okay so let's go ahead and add a left pressed event mouse left pressed so that's if we click somewhere along the bar we're going to tell the slider to actually jump to that position and update its percentage so if mouse y is less than the bottom limit and mouse y is greater than the top limit then it means we can update the y coordinate of the slider there we go, a dot y equals mouse i. Excellent, so let's go ahead and create object slider. So he has this guy. Let's initialize some variables. y y equals zero. Uh, grab equals false. Not grabbing it yet. Percentage is equal to 100. Start that off as 100. Um, it'll update as soon as the first step event of the slider is run, so it doesn't really matter. It just needs something to start with. Uh, then that's that. Then let's go add an event. Mouse left pressed. Grab equals true. Okay, so we're grabbing it now when we click it. And yy equals y minus mouse y. So that's the difference between where we are and where we need to get to. Now when we release the left pressed, mouse left released. I'm going to say grab equals false. That's all we need to do there. Now the step event is actually where the meat and potatoes happens. Now if you followed my other tutorials, all of this stuff will be very, very familiar to you. All I'm doing right now is basically just retyping it out and re-explaining things. But if you want to find out what all this does in more detail, I do 
highly recommend you go and check out those supplementary tutorials in the description of this video. Alright, so if not mouse check button uh, MB left. So you know first things first, if we not holding the left mouse button, well then we're obviously not grabbing it. So just make sure that's going for us. And if we're not grabbing it, well then exit the script. If we are grabbing it otherwise. We need to make sure that where we want to drag it is within the top and the bottom limit. So that's what the next lines of code are going to do. If mouse y plus y y. If that is less than the bottom limit. And mouse y plus y y is greater than top limit. Make sure I've got enough brackets here. One of those, one of those, whoopsie, one of those should do it. Then the y is equal to mouse y plus y y. Great. So that says that if we are within our bounds, you can set it there. Otherwise, if the mouse y plus y y is greater than the bottom limit, And I'm simply going to set y equal to the bottom limit. Else if mouse y plus y y is less than the top limit, then I'm going to be setting y equal to the top limit. Cool, so now we shouldn't be able to scroll too low and too high. Great, so once all the values are worked out, we can update something called our percentage, not a parentage, percentage, and that equals the rounded value of y minus bottom limit divided by top limit minus bottom limit times 100. Just like that. Cool. Similar to the way that you calculate the percentage in uh, in a test. So let's save that and actually let's do a demo of the slide. Let's make sure that it works. So I'm going to go to the room world over here and I'm going to put the bar in there just like this. I'm going to save and I'm going to run it to make sure that A the slider is set and B we can actually slide it. Okay cool so we can actually slide this about. This is working wonderfully and that We'll be updating the percentage value as we do this. And when we create our cards, we need to make sure that they are listening for the change in the percentage, which moves their Y coordinates up and down. So with that sorted, let's go and create the card that's actually going to move when we move the slider. Object card. Add event, step event. Here I'm going to say Y equals Y start plus the global area height divided by 100 times that by the object slider percentage minus the global area height. Okay, so global area height is the height in pixels of the bit off the screen that we want to now see. I'm going to go ahead and create a controller that's going, whose sole purpose is to spawn a whole bunch of cards. And every time we spawn a card, I'm going to be using that height to then calculate the area height just so that we know how far we need to scroll. Create event, var area height equals zero, var max width equals five, so that's how many cards I want across, max height is how many cards I want down, so obviously 10 I can't fit in a 1080 pixel height, so Hence, we'll test out the scroll of this. Var XX and Var YY will help me place these. XX is the first X coordinate, the first card, and YY is the first Y coordinate of the first card. I'm going to have two for loops. Var I equals zero. I is less than max width. I plus plus. Within that, there's going to be an inner for loop. Var J equals zero. J is less than max height. J plus plus. Instance create. 
uh, layer xxyy instances object card and I want to make sure that when we get to the last card I don't add too much of a gap at the bottom otherwise it's going to look a little ugly so max height minus one and in this case I'm going to say yy plus equals 150 and if it's anything but the last one yy plus equals 225 much bigger amount to cater for the height of a card as well as a gap in between it right next up in the outer for loop I'm going to say area height equals yy so that's all the cards high my yy is going to equal 125 to reset it and my xx is actually going to increment to one increment by 150 once we've done all that then I'm going to go global dot area height this is the one the cards are going to be listening to equals this area height minus the room height and that is the height of the room we're currently in okay so let's save that and let's place it in our room anyway it doesn't really matter let's put it at the top left over there save everything and let's test it out and see what happens all right so here we are within the project i made a few typos earlier but i fixed them um, it was percentage was spelled wrong and uh, height max height something like that it doesn't matter download the project file it's all sorted um, so here we go we've got our cards on the left and we've got our slider in the middle and if we slide this we should be able to see those extra pixels at the bottom which are actually cards so let's try this there we go as we're sliding this we're seeing the extra stuff and if i click somewhere on the actual bar it should jump to that position now this is really great for uh, main menus where say you have a lot of options that the user has to play around with um, you can simply create a scroll bar like this determine the extra height of the controls that are outside of the room or outside of the view and um, you can scroll them to the view at will which is really really awesome it gives you a lot of uh, space to grow uh, your screen so I hope you found this tutorial educational and helpful. Please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe for more. I'm making more cool videos. Um, I even look forward to your suggestions because this was an actual fact a suggestion from a subscriber just like you. If you like what I'm doing here, please check out my Patreon campaign. Link in the description along with the link to the project file. So just in case you missed something, couldn't get it right, or just want to play around with the demo, you can download and check it out. Otherwise, until next time, happy coding, and I'll see you then.